Good morning, everyone. How are you all doing? I hope you're all having a wonderful weekend. It is Saturday morning here. I tried to film this last night and had many problems, so I'm trying again this morning. The lighting's a little better, not a lot, and trying to get the microphone sound right and everything because I am a loud talker and I'm standing right over my webcam. Um, I didn't want anyone to have to listen to that either. So I'm going to try and talk a little bit softer. And I turn the volume down, so hopefully that works. Um, I am here to share my um, Scrappy Seasons planner with all of you. This is a DT project, one of my DT projects for Tracy Fox Creative. And it's finally finished. And now if I could just get the filming done, that would be great. So let's give it a try again and see how it goes. Um, again, this is her Scrappy Seasons um, Planner Kit. It is actually a four-part kit. It's a huge kit. It just has everything you could possibly need to create a journal and a planner. Um, it comes with the Scrappy Seasons Planner Kit. Then it has a add-on kit, which includes the holidays. It also has an ephemera kit and it has a journal kit as well so oh my gosh you can just create everything with this kit and the colors and everything that she put together in this is just amazing and yep now i'm going to get notifications and i can't turn those off because i'm afraid it'll shut the sound off completely so um, we're just going to go with it so again this is my um scrappy seasons planner i'm calling it the all seasons planner I'm not sure, but anyway, it's it's amazing. So it is all handmade. Um, I created it with bookboard, and it has a binder mechanism in it as well. It is seems quite large, but it's really not. It's kind of the perfect size for a planner, and I'll explain why it's the way it is. So it's just about seven wide by nine and three quarters long and it has a two and a quarter inch spine and that's to accommodate the um mechanism inside and i'm sorry about my lighting so i'll tilt this a little so you can see um do the front a little different because i just have to be different and this is just where my mind goes when i'm creating so i wanted it to be like a clock because you know a clock has 12 numbers on its face, but I wanted it to be for the months, which there's 12 months. Of course, the clock starts at 12. I started mine at 1 for January, and for the seasons, I kind of, you know, did the different colors for the winter, and then the spring, and the summer and fall, and then your winter colors. That's just how I saw it in my mind. And then it has the months, and then I created this one little dial just for, you know, interest and just something fun that you could put on wherever month you're in in the planner uh, this is coated in triple thick and then this has that um, sparkle mod podge that i love so much that isn't overpowering but just and it has all the colors just worked out perfectly for the numbers the bottom pieces are done in wood glue and the top has that um sparkle mod podge on it i don't know if you can quite see those on the numbers like it doesn't cover the numbers but it just gives them a little pop underneath i did a piece of paper with my lindy sprays with the colors as well and then i covered it in this gorgeous um cheesecloth that i purchased from um, michelle h girly girl i absolutely love it i've been using it in everything the base is covered in this beautiful fabric that is embossed and debossed and you can see that you can see all of it on here that's how you see those beautiful flowers and everything it's just be and super soft and then it has a different fabric on the inside and then on the spine i just put this beautiful piece of um lace trim so that is the outside and then we will get to the inside of the planner so let's open this one. I'm trying to talk low, but not too low, because I don't want all the scratchy sounds. So on the inside, I created a folder over here, or an accordion folder, 
for you to keep all your bits and pieces, the little pieces that say notes and to do and tracker and planner. It will also have um, these which have numbers running down them and little dots however you would like to use them throughout the planner. I did not include them because I figured whoever gets this can put those in how they want. I took a giant, I mean a giant accordion file folder that I purchased from I think Goodwill or something and I cut it all apart and created my own pocket accordion folder that would fit and accommodate the planner. I did sew this down to the material before attaching it to the book board because I just don't ever want my stuff to fall apart and I just want to make sure that's never going to happen. So on the outside of it I did use a page from the um, Scrappy Seasons planner and it kind of wraps around and let me move this over a little. Wraps around and you see the other part on this side and then on it also flows into here. For this, I used her um, patchwork kit, uh, digital kit, which is also incorporated through the planner as my monthly dividers. And you'll see as we get to that. So when you open this, it is an actual, you know, pretty large accordion pocket. And there is also a pocket here. And then I just used two circles and some of her butterflies, again, just for visual interest and texture. Um, for the closure. So let's get this wrapped around here. I won't close it for now. I wanted to add uh, like a pen holder or something. There just wasn't room. That's why I created this pocket. The binder mechanism is a three um, centimeter mechanism. If anybody knows where to get one that is larger, um, leave me a message down below. I would love to know. I could not find anything larger than three centimeters. So this planner for the full year, the way I created it, fit in perfectly. You can create it differently to make it a little thinner if you want to add a lot more stuff. But again, it's a planner, not a journal. I don't think it's meant to have like too much stuff um, put into it. So, all right. So and now on to the beautiful planner. Like I said, I use these throughout and we'll explain that as we go. But so I'll just explain what I used and, and why. I used the Epson photo mat paper, which is just amazing paper. Thank you, Angie. <laughs> Always learning stuff from other amazing, talented uh, creators out there. It does come in different weights. I have quite a few of them, and now I just keep buying this paper, um, which you can get on Amazon. This is the 27 pound, and I use this for all of the pages. The 27 pound is only printable on one side which work perfectly, and you'll see why when we get into it. And I use the 48 pound on the dividers. Again, you can probably use a thinner one just so it just makes this just a little bit thinner, but I chose the 48, and that is printable on both sides. So your front page you have, well, it says it's a planner, and you can just see how that paper makes such vibrant colors where they almost want to, jump off the page. It's just beautiful and I know you're getting a little bit of white out but there are like pinks and grays and everything in here with crackle and stuff. It's absolutely just an absolutely beautiful kit and oh my gosh I will be using this in future projects just because you know you know I like to fussy cut and just all the images and everything are beautiful which you could use that in here too if you want and in your journal when you make the journal as well. On the back, you have your personal information um, here and here. And I did say this is uh, my DT project for Tracy Fox Creative, correct? Well, if I didn't, I'm saying it again. Um, this is for Tracy Fox Creative, and it is the Scrappy Seasons Planner. Okay, you also get a two-year uh, of all the months planner, and this kind of helps you set up your planner. I did one in purples um, because the UK one runs Monday through Sunday. In the US, our weeks run Sunday to Saturday. I'm not sure why. That's not the beginning of the week. But it also changes how many weeks are in the month. And I didn't want to get confused, so I did one for US. 
it just made it easier for me planning the pages and everything. So I will show you the other one, but this is the one I did. So it is for 2022 and gives you everything for 2023 if you want to make a journal for next year as well. Let's see if I can see what this beeping is all about. Hold on one second. Okay, so I pulled out the one that is in the blues, which is actually gorgeous. But like I said, see, this one goes Monday through Sunday, where ours runs Sunday through Saturday. And on some of them, it does change the amount of weeks that are in the planner or the setup of the days. Like April, ours actually has an extra week where this one does not. Sorry, I just had to run downstairs for a minute, so I'm a little out of breath. So that's the one that comes with the kit and the blues for 2022 and 2023. Whew. Okay. Low talking, breathe. It also comes with um, a contacts page, and you can print this out as many times as you'd like or not use it a, at all in here. I did include three. I just changed the saturation to change the color a little. This is the beautiful one that comes in the kit. And it is on the front and the back. So I included three in this one. For You also get a page that has all 12 months on it for specific dates you might want to write in here to just glance at quickly. This also comes in two designs. This one that looks like this. In the purples and blues and let me see if I can turn this over here that's the back side and it also comes in this one which has all of the months so that's the um, two different styles you can choose from of course you know me I had to choose the one that has <laughs> the purples let me keep this because I want to show that to you too and then it also um, comes with all the tabs for Every month, you have the tabs that match the pages, and then you have the tabs that match the holidays. And these are some of them, and they come in various sizes as well. Um, see how beautiful they look on that paper? Don't those look like they're, they're going to jump right off the page? And then, you know, your little months, and she has them in, in different fonts. So that's those. And there's, like I said, these come in different sizes as well. All right. So that's the 12 month one that I chose. And let me tell you, the inking day, <laughs> I felt like I was inking for a month. I, I wasn't sure I was going to ever get through it. And then we're going to start with the month. So I wanted to add a divider for each of my months. And I also wanted to have my tabs kind of run down like a waterfall almost. And I wanted to flip flop them, have the tab and the fabric. I wanted a little piece of fabric sticking out. And then I did fabric and tab. And then I put the months on there. And these move so they kind of flip up and down, which I thought was really cool. Just, again, for uh, a little added interest. And then this, again, is the patchwork kit, which is an older kit. Go backwards. Pull out her old kits and see how well they meld with the new kits. Her kits just, and you'll see, they all just go together so well um and i think that's one of the things i love about them other than that they speak to me um they just all go together so well and i am always i don't think there's a project i've done where i don't have quite a few kits of hers involved in that project so this one has the patchwork this is the fragmentology again i just played with saturation to change the colors a little bit and also her floral portrait cards and then her um, full ephemera which is a page that's got all this little tiny ephemera on it so that's the kits so besides the scrappy seasons planner kit I've used one two three other one two three four other kits in this planner and all of my um, divider pages are the same the same setup and everything just with different color papers and then I've added again some washi for visual interest and texture so this is January and I will show you one week's page because they're all pretty much the same with you know it might have a different saying or something on it um, and then I'll show you the front that I chose and then the back you know the back that goes with it which is more muted 
So as I was saying, the 27 pound paper is the color on one side. And you can see just how vibrant it is and how everything looks like it's popping off the page. This is again another add-on in the kit. She gives you two designs like this, which have um, two weeks worth. This is another way you can create your planner to save space. You can use all of these to have less pages in there. Um, it's just so many ways that this thing can be put together. So, And this also comes in two designs. So you have this design like this, and then I saved this page. You have this design like this that has the two weeks. So it's up to you to, you know, pick which one you want to use and which months you want to use it in. And then the weekly one looks like this. Well, look at the colors. Look at how everything just looks like it wants to come off the page. And just the layers that are in this paper and all the little things you can find all over. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, so this is the weekly one. And then here's where the back comes in for your writing. She did tone these down and take out some things and muted it more so you can write on it. And this works perfect for that 27 pound paper because it doesn't make it vibrant like it does on the front. So it worked out perfectly. So that's the back. So then we'll just kind of go through the months. Um, like I said, all the weeks are the same. There may be just little differences you see that I've kind of added in. Um, and for the person that gets that, you'll see all that. So I'm just going to show you one week of each month. So this is February. And I kind of went with, in my mind, just the colors that inspire me for that month that I just kind of thought went with that month that also match the weeks that I planned. And that was the hard part, like picking the papers and the orders that I wanted to use them, not having the colors together and why I chose those colors for that month. So that took a little bit of time. So this is February, again, just beautiful. And you'll see how well this page matches the weekly page. So we've got February, and all of these open at the top. If you would like to stick something in there, you don't have to. You will also see the add-on, which is for the holidays, and the week where it fits in. I will make sure to let you know when we get to those. So this is February, and these are the papers I chose for February. So you can see how this matches the pinks and the oranges and the browns. So this is February, and this is the back, the muted pages for writing. Here you can use your stickers or maybe put a picture here or your numbers or your dots or where it says notes or to do. That can all be added, and you'll still have plenty of room. So February has Valentine's Day. So we're going to go to the week where Valentine's Day is, which is right here. Look at how vibrant that is. Look at these colors. It's just beautiful. And then on these, I put pockets. You can close it if you want, or you can use it to tuck something in if you would like. All right, my phone's going to be put on one second. I have to keep reminding myself, too, to talk softly. All right. Again, just a page. All right, and this is March. And this is when we're coming into spring. It's not quite yet the deep, rich greens that you see in June. It's still like the browns and, you know, the greens are starting to come in and the flowers. And I just thought this was perfect for March. Again, it's just beautiful patchwork paper. This kit also has an ephemera pack that comes with it, that you can get for it. And then this is the page for March. Let's get a center one. That is March. Beautiful greens. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I, I kind of think that's a dragonfly. I think so. Beautiful. And just you'll find all different stuff tucked in each page. It's just beautiful. And then um, we have St. Patrick's Day in March, which is also the same. It's just a little bit different. Um, create your own luck. And then again, it has the pockets on the sides. Oh, if I can get one open. The pockets. You want to tuck something in there or you can glue it shut and then this is the back of the holiday one a little bit more vibrant but still muted and this is the back of the regular week so 
So we have the regular week. And then April, which April comes with lots of rain. You know, April showers bring me flowers and, you know, you get those blue, those, the blue that when it rains and the clouds and so that's why I chose this one. And the flowers, just very pretty. So that's April and then you'll see that this matches these colors. <laughs> just perfect. A lot of planning in this planner. <laughs> All right, so this is the main week. Try to fly, you might succeed. So that's the week, and this is the back, the muted, beautiful. And then in April, we have Easter. So we'll go to the week where Easter is that year, next year. And that's the Easter page. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at all the little animals, and there's those beautiful cards. It's, yeah, just, I'm so in love with this kit. I mean... I have pages because of just practice and trial error and stuff where I'm going to be doing a lot of fussy cutting and using those elements in other things. Cause, and I do like that there's no numbers, so you can just create a new planner every year in a completely different way. Just, you know, use your imagination. It's just, there's so many, so many options to this kit. It's just so beautiful. And then um, the pocket. And then that's the back muted of the Easter page. And then the back muted of the regular week, which is that one. Just beautiful. And then we have May. Again, love the colors. And wait do you see how well these colors match the, the weekly pages. It just, I, I'm so proud of myself and how it all turned out. It was a lot of you know, thought went into this beforehand, before I started. I'm trying to get better as to think ahead before I lay things down so that you don't have to start over. See, look at the colors. It just, it matches this perfectly. Look at that. Look at that moth. Just, I love the little stamps that are added in places and things. It's just beautiful. And then your back muted pages. And then we go to June. This is where your rich greens come in, your deep greens and your bright greens all start coming in. And I thought this was perfect. And this is this is uh, pretty close to the colors of how this looks in person. Maybe a little bit different, but they are very all rich and vibrant. So June and then the pages I chose for June are this one. With the oranges and the greens and yeah, just... Just beautiful. Love that. And I love these throughout, too. Like I said, there's so many layers to each page. And then your back muted pages for writing or adding your stickers or anything else. And then we come to July. Love this flower. I just think it all just went, to well, went together so well. I love to go backwards and pull out her older kits and, you know, add them with the new stuff. I'll, I'll go back and go through stuff and just something will come to me you know, of what I want to do with it. So that's July. And in July, we have um, Independence Day, which is the first week of July. So that's why this is in here first. Again, this is that add-on of the seasons. And this is the pages. Again, we have our pockets. So that's for independent the Independence Week, um, which is July 4th. <laughs> Look at how bright and colorful that is. And I love how she incorporated the stars and stripes for the flag in here. Just her brain is just, Tracy's brain is amazing. I keep saying her when I want to say Tracy. And then the weekly pages I chose for this one actually match this. You know, with the purples and the blues. So this is the one I chose for, um, for, that, for that month. Just really pretty. And then you have your back muted pages. And then we'll go to August, which we're starting to get into, you know, our deeper colors as fall is starting to come in. And I thought this one was perfect for that. In, in my mind, that's just how it worked. So that just all went together really well. And then the pages I chose for this one are this one which is just, just, you know, I just, I am just in love with this. And the journal pages are just as gorgeous. 
of that. And then your back muted pages. And then we get to September, which brings in my purples again. A couple of them have the purples, and I've used different um, tones of the purples and such, and the pinks. So that's September. And the weekly one I chose matches perfectly with the front is this one. Look at that. It's just so pretty. I want that tag, especially because it's purple. It's so cool. Just beautiful. And then your back muted page for writing or whatever you want to do. Then we get into October, which brings in your, you know, your rich oranges and 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 yellows and it just I thought this this just said you know October to me and in October we also have Halloween which is the last week and I believe the Halloween add-on could also be used for Thanksgiving um, or you know it's, it's up to you how you want to use it but yes I believe it can be used for both months so that's October and then this is the one I chose for October with the deep browns and the oranges and isn't that just beautiful love the clock with the mushrooms and the little woodland animals and then your back muted pages and then we have our week of Halloween which is coming up um, next weekend or this weekend however you want to put it weekend next weekend because we haven't hit Sunday yet so you have this one with your squash and your pumpkins and your raven. I think this is perfect. And like I said, to me, I think you can use this for um, Thanksgiving or Halloween. And then your back muted page for that, for the Halloween one. And then we have November. Love these colors. I love just every page. I'm just so happy with how this turned out. I've looked through it quite a few times now. And again, the washi and some of it has texture on it. Just for... Um, interest and then the back the one I chose for that one is let's find a center this one look at it isn't that just beautiful the just the flowers and everything it's just absolutely gorgeous love that dragonfly I love dragonflies that's just beautiful and then your back muted pages and again I didn't add in one for Thanksgiving but you can if you'd like and then we get to December, which to me, December brings in those ice blues and, you know, the colors that the snow on the trees when the, you know, when it's got snow on it and it's sunny, you get, I think you get those blue tones in the snow and the ice. So this just reminded me of, you know, winter colors right here. I thought it was perfect. And then the digital I chose for that week is this one, which matches perfectly. Let me get to the center here. The one that I want. I, I like to go right in the center. Mm, this one. The most wonderful time of year. This is also my birthday month, which <laughs> I wish it was a purple month, but it's not. I made it the blues for, you know, the Christmas and stuff. And it matched this paper perfectly. Love these little flowers with the little berries on them and the pine cones. And then for the week of Christmas, the add-on one, which is, I'm not a red person, but these moss with the red and the black and the red and the black is just beautiful. And it's just so vibrant. I just, she did, you know, the planning she did when the, she made this and the add-ons and all that was just perfect. So that's the week of Christmas. And then in the back, again, here's the beautiful fabric I used on this one. It just kind of pulls some of the colors from inside the planner. And there's a pocket here and a pocket here. Again, you can add, you know, your stickers or, you know, the little strips or whatever you want in there. And then it just all sits together really well. I like the way the tabs all sit in here. And then when you close the journal, or the journal, the planner, that they kind of hang out you can tip them down or you can lift them all up so yeah i'm i'm really pleased with how it you know how it all turned out i'm i love seeing the finished things that i'm doing now because you know i have so many unfinished things you know me i like doing 10 things at one time and with work and everything 
I squeeze in where I can. So I'm, I'm happy to start getting a bunch of stuff finished and I will be working on um, unfinished projects as well. So this is my Scrappy Seasons Planner. Again, my DT project for Taste Tracy Fox Creative. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it wasn't too long. Um, in my description box, you will find a link for Tracy's um, Etsy, her YouTube, and her Facebook group, which if you are not a part of, you need to be. It's an amazing group of so many amazing um, creators and just so much inspiration. Um, you'll also find in the drop down a list of all of the DT members. We did just add five members on a six month period and I'm so excited to see the things that they start creating as well as all of our original designers. Um, if you guys are looking for inspiration or anything, I, I'm sure you're pretty much sub to most of them, but if you aren't, I love seeing how we all just can take something and create completely different and just the amount of things I've learned in the five years that I've been on here. I mean, I've been crafting my whole life, you know, mostly mixed media and everything. And this paper is such a challenge, but I'm enjoying every minute and I'm learning so much along the way, which who doesn't like to learn new things all the time? I do. So please go check them out and um, check out Tracy's group and definitely go check out this kit. Like I said, this is just, this is ready to go for 2022. Again, there's no numbers, so you put them in as you go, and then this kit can be used, you know, over and over again for each year for a new planner. Um, like I said, this one will be up, if I, I think I said already, I'm not sure, this will be up for sale. If um, anyone is interested, you can reach me at my email which is listed in the description box below as well. And it is ready to go for January. I am working on one in all purples. You know, of course, I I love my purple. So um, this one will be for sale. I, I don't know why. I, I just don't, I, I just want someone else to enjoy my things because I, to me, I can make stuff for myself at any time. But I really want to, you know, make things that other people can enjoy that maybe they can't, that they can't accomplish. I've purchase many of things that I don't think I can make that, you know, someone else makes. So I, I just, I, I want someone else to be able to enjoy it that might not, you know, be able to do this. So thank you all for watching. Thank you all for your support. I really appreciate it. Thank you for, you know, this wonderful community. I've met some, made some amazing friends and uh, so happy to learn all the things that I'm learning along the way. So I hope you have all have a wonderful weekend. Don't forget to get out there and create something and I will see you all soon. Bye for now.